The one very basic requirement for achievement, the, the very first thing that you need to have if you want to be successful, it doesn't matter in what area, when, how old, how young, anything. <laughs> the one thing you need to always remember is that yesterday's dreams are today's realities. Um, you know, many people call this, you know, set dreams, uh, dream big, uh, set goals. I like the way Dan Pena phrases it, where he says just, yesterday dreams are today's realities. The actual catalyst, the, the beginning point of every success that you'll have, always starts with having a goal or a dream. And that shit is obvious. Like, everybody knows that if you want to be successful in any area, you need to have goals for that area. But what everybody forgets is to actually put that dream in front of them enough so that the goal builds momentum, it builds fire and turns into an obsession because until your goal actually turns into a strong burning obsession, the odds of you accomplishing it are close to zero, uh, especially if it's a big goal. Uh, you know, small tiny goals might get accomplished by accident, but a uh, big, you know, multi-million amazing body, amazing life goals, these are done intentionally. Uh, if only for the fact that you're probably gonna fail the first three or four times, so you're gonna have to persevere, so it can't be an accident, it, it's impossible. So, what I do every day, every morning and every night, is I write down my goals. I write down all my goals when I wake up and before I go to bed. And I don't write my goals, you know, in a very specific manner or specific order that I've set, you know, there's no specific style. I do whatever feels right to me and I just write down what I want from life. So I might write down, uh, I'm, I'm uh, super famous, I make hundreds of millions of dollars, I'm traveling the world, um, I've traveled every city in the world. I have ho homes in various uh, countries where I love to visit. Um, you know, my, my body is incredible. Um, I'm super mindful. I'm super calm. I've written over 50 books, stuff like that, you know, and many, many more. But uh, I'll just simply rewrite them and I'll write again and again and again and again. So I write my goals down about 700 times a year so it means that I think about them force myself to think about them at least 700 times a year now you take some guy who only writes down his goals when people tell him to once a year or maybe twice a year maybe five times a year maybe he writes them down uh, when he's pissed you know kind of like oh I hate life I need to change you know only like in a crisis situation I call it, you know, it's called inspiration or desperation. So only in one of those and not out of habit. Who do you think has a better shot of achieving his goals? The guy who writes the goal, his goals down one time, two times, five times a year, or the guy who writes his goals 700 times a year? You know, one of the key habits of successful people is dedication and grit and perseverance. So right off the bat, the guy who writes down his goals more just shows that he's more about perseverance and dedication and consistency which again are the bedrock the foundations of success so don't just talk about your goals once in a while don't just you know you know most people are like oh i have goals yeah i know i know that i have goals you know as if it's like a default thing like like as if you look around you know in your environment and yeah like most people they have goals and and they're driven and focused you know as if so it's not a default thing so you need to pay very very special respect to your goals and not take them for granted like yeah I'm just a person with goals because every single person that gave up used to be a person with goals that's how you start life so the odds are very much against you and whatever you take for granted you're going to lose eventually 
Um, I talk about this in my videos uh, regarding trauma and how you have to go through trauma to have a shot at actually becoming successful before you go through your first trauma where you literally consider like suicide or or never trying to be successful again until then you probably didn't fail enough to even have a to even be in a ballpark of becoming successful like really successful so the idea is very very simple uh, just make sure you write down your goals at least twice a day and I say at least because uh, sometimes more is necessary it really depends on where you are in life uh, if you're in a good situation and you're already moving towards your goals you want to find that it motivates you it keeps you on track keeps you focused gives you more inspiration so it's good if you're not going for your goals right now or your situation doesn't allow it that's not a reason not to write down your goals that's actually a, a bigger reason to write them uh, because in the periods of my life where I stopped taking action because I went through really bad shit or I just wasn't there uh, you know started losing myself like happened like what happens to everybody at one point or another I would still write down my goals twice a day and it would be brutal it would be fucking brutal because every time I write them I'm like oh you know I don't want to write them and then you get reminded like oh here I am dealing with this bullshit when my dream is like 10 times bigger or you know a million times bigger and here I am you know just fucking whining and not going after my goals and being a victim so it fucking hurts it, it it gets rubbed in your face like oh yeah you're a victim you're a bitch you're not going after your goals so in my second favorite book ever uh the slight edge the author talks about how when you have goals uh, it creates a dissonance and this is sort of a distance between you and the goals and that distance is painful it's like a longing like oh i'm so far away from it so you have two choices you can either make the goal uh, closer or forget about it and try not to think about it and that alleviates the stress or you can keep the goal in front of you and start moving towards that which also alleviates the pain so again if you're in uh, that kind of situation and you're not writing down your goals and your life isn't good right now it's going to be a problem because you could easily find yourself uh, disappearing veering off into something else that's unrelated um, losing yourself in the, the problems of life because what is success if not simply getting bigger problems better level of problems life is always going to be problematic there's always going to be problems with everything with relationships money happiness you know anything you can think of there's going to be problems but do you want to have uh, problems paying the bills or do you want to have problems in the millions of dollars uh, do you want to have problems because you're lonely or do you want to have problems because you have uh, too many girlfriends and you don't know how to manage them all or you have such an amazing marriage that you don't know how you can do without your wife when you're not when you're not next to her so you need to solve that there's different types of problems there's different levels of problems which one do you prefer I wanted to cap this video off uh, by saying this look I, I know this is a, a video on YouTube I know that I know you're watching this and it's very easy to watch videos be like oh yeah blah 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 you know watch let's you know be entertained let's get the content let's feel good um, and my, you might even be tempted like oh maybe I will do it but you know in whatever form whatever way possible please Take a note paper or, or uh, open up like a document on your computer and just right now start writing down your goals and don't have any pre preconceived notions about your goals. I don't care what your goals were yesterday. Just sit down and ask your gut, you know, that part like that childish part that doesn't really think, that just thinks, you know, there's just like is excited and doesn't really rationalize anything 
and just ask yourself, what do I want? What are my big, big, big monster goals? Whatever comes to mind, don't judge it. Don't ask yourself if it makes sense. If it doesn't, it might even be stupid. You might even start writing, I'm an, astro I'm an astronaut, I'm also a singer, like it doesn't matter. Just start writing down, let your creativity out. This might even be the first time you're doing something like this in, in months or years, but let that shit out and you're gonna sense a renewed feeling of energy that you only get from tapping back into your goals. That's why people who are successful have so much energy. It's because they have their goals ahead of them all the time. They don't even focus on the now. They just focus on how do I get to the future? That doesn't mean that they don't enjoy the now. It just means that the future is so awesome. They're focused on that. So write your goals down every single day, twice a day. Start right now and let me know what comes out. Let me know how it happens. I want to know it really gets me excited I love that shit and I do coaching feel free to contact me I offer a free first session and if you haven't subscribed yet now would be the time thank you